welcome in this lecture we are going to see some definitions that are to be used throughout the course that is segment first definition is segment r is also called as open interval okay where are we defining these things we are defining these things on real line okay on real line we are going to define the following things an open interval a b is the set of all real numbers satisfying this condition okay next is generally an interval refers to the closed interval or it is commonly known as closed interval it is denoted as like this and it is going to consider the real numbers satisfying this condition then we have half open intervals okay they are they can be either left open or right open they are going to consider the real numbers satisfying the respective conditions okay these are defined on real line if we have to extend these ideas to real space that is rk in euclidean space if we want to extend these ideas how are we going to do it? that is to be said next the previous definitions and this the upcoming definitions all are considered to be on euclidean space which means whether we consider uh, okay r k k can be any positive integer in this the metric defined is x minus y we are not talking on a, any other metric it is specific for this metric okay here we are going to some we are going to define something called kcl what is the kcl if we take like this and this is true for all i runs from 1 to k then the set of entries of this form okay satisfying this condition okay this is going to form a set in rk and this set is going to be called as kcl okay let us see what is a kcl in r1 that is on real line what is a kcl okay it is going to consider it is going to be of only one dimension therefore it will consist elements of this form satisfying a1 less than or equals okay uh, a less than or equals x less than or equals b which means it is an open interval or simply an interval okay let us consider what is it in r2 okay in r2 it is going to consider elements in r2 satisfying a1 less than or equals x1 less than or equals b1 and a2 less than or equals x2 less than or equals b2 okay suppose uh, let me uh, okay let me draw a small diagram uh, suppose this is me a1 and this is me b1 okay and uh, this is me a2 and this is me b2 okay this satisfies these conditions okay all those elements in r2 satisfying this condition if i take a point here okay uh, for example instead of writing a1 and b1 let me choose specific points that would be better minus 1 4 okay let this be 2 and let this be minus 3 okay uh, let me choose any point over here if i choose a point minus 2 okay uh, this is not simply minus 2 it is minus 2 comma 0 okay if you see minus 2 is less than or equal okay minus 3 less than or equals minus 2 less than or equals 2 and uh, this point is 0 right 0 less than or equals 4 and less than or equals minus 4 this satisfies this condition 
okay if i take a point 1 comma 1 okay you can see from here that 1 comma 1 also satisfies this condition so collecting all such points of this form we are going to get a triangle okay so the notion of closed interval or simply an interval in r is being upgraded to a triangle in r2 okay so when it is defined in general rk it is called as case similarly if you extend the idea to r3 what would you get yes it is a cuboid you can simply make an imagination and see uh, the k cell that is the 3 cell is cuboid okay next we are going to define balls okay balls are of two types that is open ball and closed ball okay now let me define open ball and with the help then we will extend the idea to a closed ball okay in order to define an open ball we are taking a point in rk and we are choosing a radius a positive radius okay this is going to consider elements in rk such that x minus y absolute value of x minus y that is the distance of any point with x has to be smaller than r okay so the collection of these points is to be called as open bar if you consider this is less than or equals then it becomes a closed bar okay now this is also defined on rk now let us see what is an open ball and closed ball in r1 that is on real line what is it okay uh, now let me uh, okay for an example let me fix my x to be simply 5 okay i have to choose some positive radius uh, let me choose r to be 3 okay so b of 5 comma 3 is the collection of points in the real line such that absolute of mm, x is 5 5 minus y less than 3 okay we have seen in the previous uh, videos that how to solve this kind of an inequality when you solve this inequality that is 5 minus y less than 3 this gives you minus 3 less than 5 minus y less than 3 and this is going to be our minus 3 minus 5 minus y uh, 3 minus 5 and it is minus 8 minus y minus 2 uh, so 2 less than y less than 8 and it is going to be the open interval 2 comma 8 so this is the ball centered at 5 with radius 3 so whenever we define a ball like this this is called as center of the ball and this value is known as radius of the ball okay. what happens if we take minus 5 instead of plus 5 in this okay minus 5 we have here here we have minus 5 here we will have minus 5 this will become plus and this also becomes plus okay and this inequality will be 2 less than minus 5 less than 8 so when you take the reciprocal you will have minus 8 less than y less than minus 2 and in this case you will have minus 8 comma minus 2 this is an open bar centered at minus 5 with radius 3 okay this is happening in r what is going to happen in r2 let us see now we are going to talk in r2 uh, let me fix my center to be 1 comma 2 let me choose my radius to be 5 ok so b of 1 2 comma 5 is going to consist points in r2 ok such that absolute of uh, this can be written either y minus x or x minus y so let me write y minus 1 comma 2 less than 5 okay 
we know the metric defined on r2 is that is absolute of x minus y is under root absolute of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square we may write absolute or without absolute as well because we are just making a square of these numbers now applying this this can be written as simply y1 minus y2 so that is going to be uh, under root y1 minus 1 whole square plus y2 minus 2 whole square and this value has to be less than 5 just if you make a square on both sides you will have y1 minus 1 whole square plus y2 minus 2 whole square less than 5 square if you closely look at it you can see that this is an equation of a circle with center at 1 comma 2 with radius 5 so if you simply draw a diagram this is 1 let this be 2 this is the point 1 2 if this is the case we are making a radius 5 so we will have such like this and this kind of circle we will get okay but in this circle we are just considering the points that are inside it we are not going to consider the points on the circle because we are considering open ball if we want to find the close to ball that is if we are if we are going to include that point as well then we will have the close to ball to be the interior points as well as the points on this circle okay thank you